In the last video, we saw how to add our own uh, custom entrance animations to the Elementor editor. Uh, if you haven't done so, I uh, recommend uh, looking at that video. Uh, in this video, we are going to be doing the same thing for the hover animations. Uh, these are accessible through the style tab for certain widgets like the image widgets and the button widget. In the video description, you have a link uh, to this article. And again, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be reusing this article uh, in this video to copy the code and uh, go through the setup. Uh, if you already did the um, watch the entrance animation video, um, the setup is relatively similar except for a couple of differences that I will be explaining in this video. Uh, so, just like for the entrance animations, we need to use a, a PHP filter, uh, this one in this case, and we need to define the animation code. So, let's go and do that. So, the first step is the PHP filter. In my case, again, I'm going to be using with this snippet uh, to add the, the code, but you can use whatever uh, method you're comfortable with. So I'm just going to copy the code and go back to Woody Snippet. So in Woody Snippet, we're going to add, an, again, a new PHP snippet. You can reuse the same snippet if you want, but I'm uh, just going to keep it consistent with the article. I'm going to give it a title. So our animation uh, PHP. I'm going to paste the code. In, in base option, we're going to run it everywhere. So one of the differences when it comes between the hover animations filter and the um, entrance animations filter is that in the hover animations uh, filter you cannot create groups, so uh, you cannot group animations together. Uh, if you look at the uh, the menu here, uh, the default one, you see that all the animations are listed uh, one after the other, unlike for entrance animations where you can have groups. Uh, these bold entries here. So light speed, specials, etc. Uh, so that's the first uh, difference that you're going to have uh, between the two. So if we publish this snippet here and uh, refresh our page, and then go to the side tab of the image, and look at the hover animations, we have four new entries. So button radio out, slide, circle, uh, whatever, etc. Uh, so these animations are for a button, so I'm just going to add a uh, button widget here. Uh, don't really care for the color, whatever, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And uh, I'm going to go back to the article and uh, do the next step. So the next step is add in the CSS code. So let's just copy the code and we in all these snippets we add uh, a new CSS snippet and I'm gonna call it um, other animations CSS and just paste the code that we did that we copied. Uh, so the other difference between the hover and entrance animations in the CSS code. Uh, for hover animations, Elementor expects you to have this prefix here. Uh, so our CSS class in the uh, PHP definition is uh, btn underscore radio underscore out, for example. Uh, in the CSS class, we need to prefix that name using dot elements or dash animation dash. So if you do that, it automatically knows uh, which uh, class to grab um, once you hover over the, the element. So next step is to make sure that we run this one. Uh, I'm going to do it in the footer in this case. And just hit publish. Now, if we go back uh, to the page and refresh, 
and then go to the button element, style, cover, and choose one of the animations. Uh, this one, for example. When we hover, it runs as expected. Now, this specific setting, uh, this effect, rather, uh, uses a um, pseudo element, so in this case, the before, and that's where we define our background color, uh, which means that in this case, in this animations, uh, you choose in this background, default background, uh, to whatever, uh, is not how you would want to do it. Uh, you would need to change the code uh, to whatever color that you want to use. Uh, let's see, uh, we have a bunch here, so uh, slide and circle. Uh, and and so let's see. We should clear it instead. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that's all there is to it really. Uh, now again, like I said in the entrance animations, you're not limited to CSS only animations, you can do uh, any type of animation. Uh, next uh, I'm going to show you how to do a simple uh, SVG type. Uh, of animations that uses an SVG filter uh, to kind of distort an element. Um, so just gonna copy the code again from the article. In this case we want to add the new entry to our PHP snippet. So we're gonna go back to the PHP snippet, edit it, and uh, add the new entry. Um, just update and the next step is to update the CSS snippet. So I'm going to go to the CSS snippet, uh, edit and just add it at the bottom. Again you see the, the class has the uh, required prefix. Uh, and the third step, in this case we're using uh, SVG, so we are going to add the new snippet uh, where we are going to include the SVG filter. Now, for, for filters, it's noted in the article somewhere. Uh, I think it's not. Uh, well, it should be. Good. Uh, for SVG filters, uh, you can animate them. Uh, using JavaScript or using some uh, library like uh, SnapSVG or GSAP um, in order to change the attributes of the filter. In this case we want to do the animations with CSS so you can see that the uh, that the animation, that the filter is defined uh, several times. It's the same filter basically with different attribute values. Uh, so in this case, we are giving it a different frequency on the y-axis every time. And we're changing the seed value uh, for the turbulence as well as the scale value of the displacement mass. And you map, uh, displacement map, sorry. And usually uh, what you would do is you just have one filter and then with JavaScript you would just animate whatever attributes you want to animate uh, depending on what you're trying to do but I'm keeping things simple here so uh, let's uh, let's move on uh, so we are going to put it in the footer again and uh, I'm just going to publish And if you're not familiar with SVG filters, there is a link to uh, a list of articles on code drops, which are really, really good. I highly recommend you uh, check them out. Uh, they give information in these uh, so how to use uh, SVG filters. So in this case, we have a filter that we can potentially use 
uh, if we like it with images as well. So under the image, we are going to choose our new SVG basic distort, and then when we hover, it kind of distorts the image. And this filter works fine for uh, buttons as well. I like it when it's not uh, when it's only a text. So just going to change this to a link basically instead of um, instead of a button with a background uh, so we just make it bigger a little bit and then in the hover we're going to choose the new animation and when we hover see the source text and that's it. So in the same fashion, you can do the you can do any type of hover animation uh, you can imagine. Uh, same thing for entrance animations. Uh, you can do any type of animations uh, that you want using JavaScript uh, animations that require JavaScript or SVG as well. Uh, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Thanks.